Hi Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 27th till the 2nd of August and we've just moved into the Leo energy passion, action, creativity and going for what you want yeah! and it's absolutely an awesome, busy, lovely month it is um, being busy in the positive sense there might be new passion this could be a hobby or a person it is up to you let's see what the cards will say and thank you very much cyber angels for coming back and being so faithful and loyal thank you for all your likes and shares and of course I do go a mon on Monday Wednesday and Friday I go live so welcome to the new watchers that have landed on this page I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell on all then you should be getting notified but just in case I do go send a backup through community uh, YouTube community what time I'm going live and through Facebook and Instagram so I hope you will uh, be motivated to join us in the tea room the live sessions we are the cyber family and I am proud to say I'm the cyber mum I've got another family great 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 and I love it and I love going live and it's really really exciting when I go live it's so different every night and sometimes it's very quiet and then we do more things and different things and we have discussions and what has come out uh, in the last couple of uh, weeks is that people like to interact more so after the summer holidays I'll be doing a special live session uh, to interact so let me know what and let everybody know what you've done or what's happened in the summer holidays I hope you are safe and all very safe and that's my cyber angels of course as well and I hope that you know you're never alone and that you're blessed. Look at what you do have and don't look at what you don't have. Okay well I'm uh, using a nine card spread and this is the overall energy or the querent card. I use it both just uh, as it happens with it depends on what's happening in the reading of course and this is Monday Wednesday and Friday Saturday and Sunday for the new people that don't know how this reading goes and the corner cards uh, confirm or clarify the cards around it and vice versa so you're getting more answers um, then you hopefully has had anticipated because we've got the numerology we've got the names of the cards and of course in the Lenaman we have the cartomancy uh, the Lenaman and the numerology I also use the reading angel deck or the angel reading cards and the Archangel Metatron card and he Archangel Metatron he is the Archangel of the white light the, the divine light also the light that clears your chakras and protects you okay he's very healing and he also uses geometrical esoterical geometrical uh, shapes uh, he's a lovely angel and he's also the angel of selling your house or moving home so if you are moving home then ask him for his help so um, if you would like to have an extended reading then please uh, look below the video in the description box or in the top right hand corner of your screen you see a white circle with an eye and if you click on that then you'll be taken through to the website charliesangel.com and of course um, uh, I was going I thought I was going to say something else but I forgot it it might come back um, let's get started with the readings Monday. ah yes I do work with the angels and the angelic uh, chakras and the Reiki chakras the, uh, the difference is that the uh, angels uh, are associated with the chakras and also um, colors and also there are more chakras in the angelic chakra as the angels represents each chakra okay the first card that you have um, Virgo is 16 
from the major arcana so 16 becomes a 7 and luck is on your side well when you see the tower and you see all this exploding going on you think what do do i have good luck no uh, that can't be and then a lot of people get uh, very anticipated and scared when they see the the, the the tower don't be scared because it can be a lot of fun and this deck does show the dark side the shadow side but the shadow side is our dark side we can't live without the dark and the light okay um we might uh, our shadow side that means our fears we might be hiding our fears perhaps you were a little bit uh, fearful of making a decision or a choice and the divine stepped in and did it for you so something unexpected has happened or will happen don't be scared of this because like I said the angels are with you and they have taken the decision for you so don't mope about the past gone is gone you can't change it you can only change the present or the future so take this as an adventure when one door closes 20 will open take it as a new beginning and an exciting new beginning look at all that fire that means action you have to come into action to make your dreams work and talking about dreams I'm already seeing a card that a dream will be fulfilled but I will get to that one in a minute uh, above you on Monday or above you what is going to come in uh, your emotions might be uh, very sensitive at the moment because we've just come in to an other zodiac sign and that's Leo as you well know if you follow the readings now on the 21st we went from cancer into Leo and your feelings might be very sensitive or you might even be more spiritual or psychic your uh, feel your gut feelings are giving you answers because that is what the moon means you might be enlightened spiritually as well uh, with this big change you might have chosen an other path to tread the yellow brick road to the north or note you're on your right path so listen to your intuition open your third eye um, that means um, also be open to new ideas don't be scared have faith in yourself as others do okay you are in the spotlight because the moon the star and the sun is a spotlight and it also illuminates something so you might need more information with regards to a question or a situation if you need a listening ear or a helping hand with that I'm here the information is below the video in the description box also you the angels are here um, with the two pillars in the traditional tarot you see a black and white pillar like I said we can't do without one or the other um, but they are giving you a doorway to step through to a new beginning now you're moving up from um, a seven to a nine a nine is an ending be careful be careful the moon here is depicted by the dark the dark side is depicted by a mask somebody might be wearing a mask okay you might be wearing a mask because you might be highly sensitive and you don't want to show your true feelings but I think it is somebody else that might be the wolf in sheep's clothing so be warned the moon also represents Pisces and Pisces is a very spiritual and sensitive um, uh, sign um, but uh, it depicts um, Pisces but I for years I've thought it was cancer so don't exclude cancer because we've also got the lobster here okay I'll just show you perhaps you can't see it that far but you can see that the girl is walking next door to the lobster and this lobster is hailing the moon I love these cards they're so beautiful they are all so funny 
you they don't they're not scary like the traditional Rio weight now on Wednesday we have the six of Pentacles and in this deck it also reminds me of the six of cups because they're exchanging presents and that is uh, what is happening in the Six of Cups. Somebody's coming back from the past. And the ghost is somebody from the past. It can also be somebody from the other realm. But somebody is like a past. The ghost is the past. Because they've gone over to the other realm. So I take it as a representation of an ancestor or of somebody from the past and they're coming in there might be a reunion there might be a sign if it is somebody from the other realm you most probably see feathers or pennies or butterflies anything that the angels use to send messages that is your gift from an ancestor this could be a mother a father a grandmother or grandfather coming to say hello or a door might suddenly close without a draft or you might see the uh, withered dandelion you know those feathers of the dandelion blossoms you might just see that they are all going in the wind that is a sign that's an angel flapping with its wings and then that is the wind that lets the dandelion seeds fly that is also a message but in the pentacles the six of pentacles we all know that the less fortunate will be receiving gifts this could be money this could be a helping hand this could be a, just a bunch of flowers this could be a listening ear if you are less fortunate you are giving to the less fortunate and vice versa the less fortunate will be receiving from the more fortunate now like I said your uh, goal is coming true or your wish is coming true and you are definitely in the spotlight with the moon and the star you might even be uh, meeting an Aquarian or if there is an Aquarian in around you then they might have an eye on you and they will bring you um, a gift perhaps or, or recognition as easy as that now if I was reading an extended uh, reading then I would say you've had a difficult time in the past but this is Saturday and Sunday in this reading so um, I think it is uh, something you've been through difficulties and that's why there is a sudden change there is an ending to um, uh, there is definitely an ending to difficulties this is the seven of swords okay and that means that you are going through an emotional time boom very emotional time because you if you um, if somebody's been sneaky because look he's run, running away with five arrows five swords and you've been hurt you've got two swords in your heart and you're sitting in the corner um, and being depressed sad well there's an ending to it now because they've gone they've run off you can't change the past okay the change is already here this could be um, also in the beginning of the week but that is your weekend card okay and you might be getting help from somebody else a listening ear like I said to talk it through what they've done and to work it through so you can carry on with this new beginning and that new path that you have chosen perhaps your feeling did say watch out watch out this is happening this is happening that's happening and you didn't didn't listen to your feelings so that's why you didn't make a decision or a choice anyway if somebody is being sneaky like I said there somebody is wearing a mask okay um, and this could be happening at the end of the week uh, at the weekend that somebody is leaving but I think it's already happened okay 
Now let's see what is going on. The first card, you have the fish. And the fish is also the king of pentacles. So whatever you take on now, this new beginning, or if you're going to invest in anything, a new job, a new house, you will have, uh, it will turn to gold. It will turn out positive. Don't worry. Okay? You will have luck at work or in business. But know your boundaries and know others' boundaries. Don't over go over the boundaries, not your own or others. This is also um, honoring others, others' space, and that other others honor your space. Again, you've got number seven, three and four. Thirty-four is seven, so you've got seven, seven. Good luck. Wow. Remember, if somebody has done you the dirty, then karma will get them. <laughs> that is your luck, and they will get it back threefold. Okay. Now, this could be a change in business, a different uh, attitude. This could be that now you've set your boundaries, and you've said no to her here and no further and that might bring this unexpected change because you're stronger you're not letting yourself being used anymore or being taken for a ride you've chosen the, the path for your own strength and listening to your own um, security and safety and intuition which will bring you um, good luck as you know your boundaries because this is the king of pentacles the king of pentacles is Taurus so you could be meeting a Taurus or you could be dealing with a Taurus but don't um, don't forget the other two signs but the prominent one the king of pentacles is represented as Taurus and everything he touches will turn to gold he also does his research before he makes an investment so do your research and look at the small print if you're signing contracts. You will be more business-like. As um, I said, you have learned how to stand up for yourself, know your boundaries and know others' boundaries. And you're standing up for yourself. Okay, The tower could also mean... If, it, if the moving house card would be here, that you're moving to high rise or that you're working in high rise um, and that you are changing all of a sudden to something else. Now we've got the man and he's 28. Two and eight is ten and that means an ending. And where there is an ending, there's a new beginning. And it could be in love as you've got the ace of hearts. So you could meet a new love, and like I said, it could be a Pisces. Um, it could be an Aquarian, or it could be a Taurus. Now with the Ace, it can be any of the water signs, okay? Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. But the, new, uh, the heart, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Hearts means that there is a new passion, a new love. This could be a hobby, work, or literally a new love or a new passion. But remember, don't let yourself be used. Passion doesn't last. It's like a ship in the night. It just passes through. But if you are wishing to meet a new man or to be more business-like, then your wish will become true because you've set your boundaries. Now, you are in your strength. You are moving up from a 7 to an 8 because the star is 17 and that's an 8 and that's the money house. So business is going well with the 10, uh, uh, sorry, the king of pentacles and the new beginning of uh, your passion. And you've got the fish, so it could be business and now there could be business meetings going on you've got the seven of pentacles what you sow you shall reap remember I said karma will come back threefold bad or good so you will 
if you plant your seeds and you're doing it with a pure heart it will be good and it will be a, a plentiful as karma will has its way of paying you back threefold you've got the birds you will get news but be careful of gossip and usually you see a bird flying away but not in this deck um, so somebody might have left the group here you are somebody's leaving that could be at work or this could be at home leaving the coop or leaving the group that is how I always express the birds and the birds means meetings presentations school presentations anything like that okay now perhaps your wish is come true to go to a presentation and learn more about something perhaps uh, you want to meet more people or give the presentations so your wish could be coming true perhaps you've planted the seeds for this okay amazing now you might hear news that um, about uh, you will hear news about this unexpected change uh, you don't know it now but you're more or less prepared now because it's in the reading and remember you won't know this until you get the news so most probably at the end of the week you will know what has happened and look back at the end of the week and if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign perhaps you are, are going to meet somebody like I said somebody is coming back from the past or somebody f uh, f that's less fortunate will come to you because they see you as a strong person this could be the person that left you that's coming back to you well it's up to you what you would like to do with that person are you going to accept them back or are you following on your new path you're on the right path because your wish or goal is coming true then you have the anchor the anchor means yes to a question or a situation and you've got the six of clubs that's the six of swords you are moving away from rough waters you are going to smoother and quieter waters you might be moving home that could also be moving from job all of a sudden because of the tower that could also be going on holiday and you might be crossing water now if you can I didn't see this until two years after I had the cards you can see underneath the anchor you see a shape of a mermaid in the sand so somebody might all of a sudden uh, appear okay that that's what I've got the feeling tonight perhaps you are a lady and you feel as, as steady as an anchor because you've put your anchor there you are coming home to a safe haven that's the meaning of the card and yes and you've slung your hook there and you're staying there you're not letting anybody trample all over you and Get, make you heartbroken again you are as safe and sound as a pound because an anchor hangs on and a steady it keeps the boat where it should be now I've got a beautiful angel card for you and she is dancing in gold and the water stream or the waterfall the angel of abundance there's coins that you are seeing f that are dropping not leaves coins so there is abundance coming in well it already shows here and it already shows with the king of pentacles wow three cards stating abundance is coming in this could be with love but this could also be um, Uh, I, I thought there was another beginning sorry yes here this new beginning as you because you are on your road then we've got an angel number 33 from the Archangel Metatron card and 
it says dimensional gateway whoa -ho! hello we have come home look at the dimensional gateway what I'm talking about the angels are giving you a doorway the dimensional gateway an invitation and this could be the invitation as you have the birds and they new means news well done and it's such a beautiful uh, reading and message I wish you a load of success and I hope this has motivated you to get out of your sadness or head if you are depressed or sad or if you are thinking about what is done to you look at what you've got and not at what you don't have and come out of that corner and show them what you're made of you are awesome Virgo so go for it okay take care and I hope to see you in the life and be blessed and stay safe ciao ciao please share and like thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life, Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.